it's it's a negative world. Autis uh, the autistic world is a negative world, and I'm I'm here to make it a positive one. Hi everyone, we're the parents of Autismo the Robot, the only quantum robot in the world that can describe the internal world of an autistic child. I'm Ala Farai, and I'm the robotics engineer and also the father of Autismo. And I'm Dr. Catherine Dimitriadis, and I'm the mother of the robot and responsible for the brain. I happen to be a fully functional autistic savant um, and I know what it feels like on the inside and on, and on the app. So our mission is to, to make every family has the autistic child have this robot. We'd like to make it a compact robot, not too big, not too, not too small, uh, in order for uh, parents to be able to travel with it and to be able to take it along trips, vacations. The cost will be, has to be affordable for all the families. Autistic children are perceived as having a disease, as having a, a disorder, as having a, a thing that needs to be treated and that needs to be um, seen as a, a very abnormal thing. Uh, it's actually, it's, let's say, it's uh, the, the biggest revolution in autism and robotics because uh, robots has a specific task to do but autism will do something like will the voice of the silent. It, it, will, it will help children progress, it will help them study, it will help them become who they really are as opposed to the, the, the person they're not experiencing. Right now, I actually built a, a, a tool, a method, if you will. It's called SMART. It stands for Stored Memory Access Retrieval Technique. And what that does is it's able to read the stories of your life uh, through your DNA. And uh, I, little did I know that all that research I did, all those years obsessively, would lead to the brain of a robot today. Last year we were sharing, I was sharing the idea with Dr. Catherine Dimitriadis and uh, as a robotics engineer all I'm thinking is only robotics and robots. So I told her there is a robot for everything. He, he looked at me and he said, well, wouldn't it be great if we could have a robot that you could tell him your problems and he could solve them? And right at that moment, it was just an aha moment, and it was on Halloween night, by the way, so the, the conception of autismo is going to be at the end of this month. Uh, that, well, if you could understand where your emotions came from, and your behavior comes from, you would be able to solve your problems. So that's where I thought, if I could make the DNA sequencing into a software, put it into a robot, now we've got something. Yeah, we are. We we completed the idea. The programmers is they are ready. The robotics engineers they are ready. We draw autism already, and 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 uh, we are just waiting for the fund. No, I feel it's I feel it's a big responsibility actually on my head. It's a big responsibility. Does that scare you? I'm not scared me because I know exactly what I'm supposed to do and I, 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 I spend all my time doing that only. I left my country to come here to Cyprus only for this project. Because I believe it is a mission and what I was born on this earth to do. <laughs> Therefore, the only reason uh, an autistic robot exists is because its, uh, it's maker is uh, made of the same material. <laughs>